we do have our very first what? giveaway. Oh, we're going to be giving away a pack of Don Russ cards. So, uh, like the video, follow, and post a comment, and let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back to the pack. We have our two downtowns up there on the stand. We have our Barry Sanders and our Derek Carr downtowns. And I have a few other cards that I just recently added to my collection. One of them is graded. It is a PSA grade. And the other is raw, which means basically that it is ungraded. Select Chase Young. Not a bad card. Our buddy threw this in for us. And another Chase Young on the Classics rookie card. Definitely a sweet looking card. And a Chase Young Chronicles. I don't know if you guys can sense a pattern here, but we do have a. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell what it is yet. A Chase Young Downtown. And so, yeah, I bought this card here for $90 and it's already a profitable card because it's already up over 115. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. So that's $25 profit so far and who knows what it could be. I, uh, ho I hope to double my money on the card at bare minimum. Um, if I could sell this card for, you know, around $200 relative, uh, relatively soon. So now, we have three downtowns. Look at those things. Oh, baby. Look at the shimmer. Woo-wee. And coming up into our second one is our PSA grade. We got a JJ PSA. And look at that. Ten. All right. We love to see those tens. Respect my authority. PSA 10. I did buy this card for around $50. Comps are already around like $75, $80. So we're already netting $25, $30 profit and we just bought the card. So right there, that's a good start. It is his 2020 rookie card, pink camo, as you can see in the top left corner, which is a really nice card. Uh, and basically what PSA 10 means is that the they grade based off of four different categories. You got surface, edges, corners and centering those are the four uh, characteristics that go into uh, determining the value of a card and being a PSA 10 you can get PSA 10s you can get PSA 9s you can get PSA 8s and it goes it's a 1 to 10 scale um, and they I believe do half grades as well so you can pay a little extra to get a half grade which like would be like an uh, 8.5 a 9.5 stuff like that um, I know for a fact that Beckett does as well, and yeah, so definitely a really nice card, uh, his NFL debut, this might even just be a hold for a little while too, you know, if the Minnesota Vikings end up doing pretty good, uh, who knows what could happen, and the value of this card could go even further up, you know, especially as years go by, if he gets inducted into the Hall of Fame, or whatever, and so that's just like one of the examples of buying singles, buying slabs and hanging on to them and selling them for you know more than you bought them for and investing into sports cards you know you don't always have to go out and buy packs or boxes or whatever to get value out of cards like this you know you can buy singles you know exactly what you're getting and you're investing in it you know it's almost like the stock market in a sense and so this is one of our first investments this chase young was our second investment and they're already starting to pay dividends for sure i think you know we'll we'll keep an eye out and hopefully be able to pull up a couple more i do have a couple cards right now that i've been looking at and thinking about buying and if we can get them for the right price we're definitely going to grab them